Better is one day in your house, better is one day in your cup than a thousand years. Better is one day in your house, better is one day in your house, better is one day in your cup than a thousand years. Better is one day in the courtroom of the Lord than a thousand years. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all my viewers. And if you are new, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining this community. It's a community that is moving. <laughs> it's moving, it's moving. The gates of hell cannot prevail against this community in Jesus' name. We are gathered here one more time in the presence of the Most High God in his courtroom. According to the book of Daniel, chapter 7, 9 through 10, the ancient of days seated surrounded by hosts of angels, opening the book of life that concerns you and I today. Be open, open and receive, receive, receive in the name of Jesus. Yeah, today we are going to talk about gratitude, being grateful, being grateful. We are in the season of giving thanks. We are in the season of just appreciating God for who he is. So let's be Let's be appreciative. Let's be grateful in all that the Lord has done for us. From January to December, Father, we are grateful. We're going to take our reading from the book of Thessalonians. Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It says, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Father, we are a grateful community. And I'm standing for every of my viewers today to say, Father, we are grateful for all that you have done for us. Why do we need to be grateful? The more grateful we are, it gladdens the heart of the Father. It gladdens the heart of our Father, the Lord Jesus. It gladdens his heart because he knows that we are we appreciate him and we are grateful for every little blessings that he has given unto us. So when we give back to him in form of gratitude and praise and worship, he will pour down more for us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For when you give, to, just like giving a, your little child um, a gift, when you see the gratitude in their in the in their appearance, in their in their in their in their character, how they hug you, you just want to you just feel like going out there to get another gift and give to them. That's how the heart of the Father is to us. So we need to be grateful, so that we are grateful. So today, I'm here to thank God for you. That Lord, we are thankful. I'm thankful and I'm grateful for every viewer that has been following me from the beginning of this podcast, Lord. I'm thankful for their life. Father, Lord God, I've come to say thank you for their children. Lord, I've come to say thank you for their job. Lord, I've come to say thank you, Lord God, for their for, for their household. For they are not homeless. They might not, not have got their own ho home, but they are renting. Yet they have a shelter over their head. So I am grateful for them, Lord. I am grateful for the food, oh God, that you put on their table. Because many out there do not have food to eat. But yet, oh God, you have preserved them enough to prepare a table before them. As Father, I am grateful. Above all today, Lord God, I am grateful for the gift of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gift of God that you have given unto us. I'm grateful for you, Lord God, being in my life, being in the life of every viewer that is watching today. Father, we are grateful. And if anyone is out there that has not known God, that has not known Jesus as the Lord and Savior of their life, today I'm going to ask you in humbleness to give your life to Christ. How do you give your life to Christ? You're just going to, go to follow me and just repeat these words. It's a very simple, simple steps. By simply saying, Lord, I know that I'm a sinner. I repent and I ask for forgiveness today. And I believe that you died and you rose from the dead. You rose from the dead, Lord. I ask you to come into my life today. Come into my heart and make it your dwelling place. And be the Lord and the Savior of my life. Now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. And if you have prayed this prayer... I believe with faith that you are now born again. You are now in the kingdom of the Most High God. You are now the family of his household in the name of Jesus. For now, all things are passed away. 
and behold, all things have become new for you in the name of Yeshua. And if you're already a believer, continue to stay rooted in him. Continue to keep on pushing. There is reward when you stay rooted in the Lord. And continue to be grateful. For the Lord will graciously continue to nourish you in the name of Jesus. For he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So do not relent. If you fall, get up again. If you fall, get up again and keep on pushing. Press, press forward for the goal that is set before you, the crown of glory that is in front of you in the name of Jesus. So let us pray. So Father in heaven, even right now, Lord God, today I'm praying, Lord God, for the gift of this of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that left his throne to come to earth, to walk this earth, went to the cross, crucified for me and my viewers, shed his blood that we might have life. Thank you for the gift of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father Lord God, for every viewer, for every follower. I thank you, Lord God, because I know, Lord God, that you have blessed your household immensely this year. Lord, if there's any blessings that they are still waiting for, if there's any expectation that has not been met, oh Lord God, as we come before your court of, courtroom today, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, because they are getting verdict of good news, verdict of open doors in the name of Jesus. And I'm thankful for them, Lord God, even for, the, even, for, even for those things that they are expecting that has not come to pass. I'm thanking you, Lord God, in advance for it, O oh God, because your due time and your due season, Lord God, is what really matters. So thank you, Lord God, for the due season, O oh God, that you bring to pass those things that they have been waiting for in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, for your set time. The gates of hell cannot prevail against your set time, Lord God, in the name of in the name of Jesus. So today I conclude with the verdict that we're getting from the courtroom of heaven today. For everything that you have been waiting for, that the enemy has been standing upon, we present the blood of Jesus as our evidence before the courtroom of heaven. We present the name of Jesus that conquers every other name. We present the name of Jesus as an evidence because with the mention of his name, every knee bows and every, every tongue confess that he is Lord. So everything, every chain that has been holding you bound, every blockage in your way is bowing down right now because of the presentation of your evidence of the name of Jesus. And because of the blood that you have presented today, doors are opening. Every blockade, is rolled away in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every height that you've been trying to climb and they're pulling you down. The chains are broken. Every grave that is being dug by the enemy. They fall into it in the name of Jesus. Every net that they have spread for you. They will get caught in it. That's the verdict from the courtroom of heaven today for you. Except they repent. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And because and all, all, the, all the new believers today, because you have been engrafted, because you have been engrafted into the, into the family of God today, in, the Lord will continue to be light onto your path. He will begin to direct your path. The Holy Spirit will be your partner in the name of Jesus. The Lord will be a lamp under your feet. He will be lamp under your feet. Darkness will never rule over your life anymore. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you insight. Insight into the secrets of the things of heaven. He will reveal himself to you. In this your new walk with him. In the name of Jesus. To all my faithful viewers. The Lord will continue to bless you. Going out bless you coming in bless you as you share his messages as you populate the kingdom of heaven with me the lord will grant you your heart desire before 
we grant you all your hard desires. He will do more than your expectation for what eyes have not seen and, I, and ears have not heard. Will he do for you in this new season? In this new season, in Jesus' name. He will bless your children. He will bless you. He will bless your children to a thousand generation according to his word. According to his word. And as the year is running out, none among you, you or your children, your family, none shall be missing according to the book of Numbers. Numbers 31, of 31, verse 4, 49 to 50. None among you shall be missing in the name of Jesus. You all will cross over to 2024 in the name of Jesus. And we will continue together, we will continue to populate the kingdom of God together. As you continue to come back to view, as you continue to share, and as you continue to subscribe, the Lord will increase you. He will enlarge your footsteps under you in the name of Jesus. Everything you lay your hands upon will prosper. The Lord is transactional. He is transactional. He is transactional. If you give him your time, he will multiply it for you. He will give you more than your expectation. Populate heaven and decimate the kingdom of darkness for him. And he will reward you mightily in the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you so much. And I want to tell you that I appreciate you for continually coming back to view. For continually sharing. For continually populating heaven. And... If you can drop some comments as well for our new viewers to let them know that being rooted in the Lord, they have nothing to lose but much to gain. Nothing to lose but much to gain. In Jesus' name. And I also just want to thank God for the body of Christ that I belong to. It's called Glory Center. Glory Center Family Church is located in Maryland. If any one of you is in Maryland and you want a place to worship, Glory Center is located in Lago Drive, 9301 Lago Drive. It's a place where you come to cultivate the atmosphere of heaven. You can stop by, we we'll welcome you in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for that family of Christ that I belong to and to all of that ministry, Refreshing Glory Center. Refle refreshing glory ministry they are my supporters they are my cheerleaders and god will continue to cheer you on and expand you in jesus name in jesus name i want you all to remain planted in the lord and never forget never forget never forget that a day in the presence of the most high god is greater than ten thousand years out there in the world in Jesus' name. And I'll see you all again next week. Jesus tarries. Continue to stay rooted in him. And with a heart of gratitude, with a heart of gratitude, continue to praise God. He'll reward you. In Jesus' name.